ever wondered how certain the future of the U.S. economy is? What if we told you there's an 85% chance of a recession striking within the next 12 months? That's right, economist David Rosenberg has developed an economic indicator known as the full model, which suggests a looming recession in 2024. This full model is a comprehensive tool engineered to forecast economic downturns by analyzing key economic elements such as GDP growth, inflation rates, and employment figures. According to Rosenberg's full model, the U.S. economy is currently sitting precariously on the edge of a recession. The current economic climate, characterized by high inflation, tightening monetary policy, and geopolitical uncertainties, is fostering an environment that could potentially trigger an economic downturn. But what does a recession mean for the average American? Well, the onset of a recession typically heralds a period of economic contraction, characterized by job losses, market crashes, and decreased consumer spending. Unemployment rates could potentially surge as businesses struggle to maintain profitability, while the stock market may experience significant volatility, impacting investments and retirement savings. Consumer spending, the lifeblood of the U.S. economy, may also take a hit. The uncertainty brought about by a recession often leads to reduced consumer confidence. This decrease in confidence typically results in a decline in spending as people tighten their belts in anticipation of tougher times ahead. This potential recession could also exacerbate the already strained U.S. debt situation. With the national debt projected to reach a staggering $35 trillion by 2031, a recession could further strain the economy, making it even more difficult to manage and reduce this debt. So now you know the future may not be as certain as we'd like to think. But what does this mean for you and me? How will this recession impact us? Let's break it down. The implications of a recession are vast and can touch every aspect of our lives. One of the most immediate and visible effects of a recession is an increase in unemployment rates. As companies grapple with decreased demand and reduced revenues, they often have to make the tough decision to let go of staff. This leads to higher unemployment rates, which in turn means more people struggling to make ends meet. Additionally, those fortunate enough to keep their jobs may still face hardships. Wage growth often stagnates during a recession and in some cases, wages may even decrease. This means that even if you're working, you might find it harder to pay your bills and maintain your standard of living. But it's not just about jobs and wages. A recession also often leads to increased inflation. This means that the cost of goods and services can go up, making it even more challenging for people to afford their day-to-day -day expenses. It's like a double whammy. Your income might be decreasing or stagnant, but the cost of living is going up. Now let's talk about government services. In a recession, tax revenues often decrease. This is because when people are earning less, they're also paying less in taxes. At the same time, the demand for government services like unemployment benefits and food assistance often goes up. However, with less money coming in, governments may be forced to cut back on these services just when people need them the most. The potential decrease in government services isn't just limited to social programs. It can also impact areas like infrastructure and public education. This is because these areas are often funded through taxes. And when tax revenues decrease, funding for these services often takes a hit. As you can see, a recession can have wide-ranging effects on our daily lives. It's not just about the numbers and percentages we hear on the news, it's about real people and real lives. It's about how we work, how we live, and how we plan for the future. So, what can we do about this looming recession? That's the question on everyone's mind. The answer lies in both individual action and government policy. For individuals, the key is to diversify income sources. This means not relying solely on one job or one stream of income. It could involve starting a side business, investing in real estate, or even learning a new skill that can be turned into a freelance gig. Next, saving money is more crucial than ever. This isn't just about stashing away every spare penny, but being strategic about your spending, cutting back on non-essential items, and building an emergency fund that can cover at least six months of expenses. Investing wisely is another crucial step. This isn't the time for high-risk ventures. Instead, consider safe, long-term investments like bonds, and remember the golden rule of investing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. But it's not all on individuals. The government also plays a key role in managing a recession. Sound fiscal policy is essential, including prudent spending, maintaining a balanced budget, and ensuring the stability of the financial sector. It's a delicate balancing act, but one that can help mitigate the effects of a downturn. 
By understanding the potential challenges we face, we can better prepare for whatever the future holds. Remember, knowledge is power. And the more informed we are, the better equipped we'll be to navigate these uncertain economic waters.